The very latest on that bizarre case of the woman who allegedly tried to plant poisoned orange juice at a California Starbucks. She is now under arrest, and the employee who caught her in the act is speaking out. ABC's Neil Karlinski has the very latest on the story. This morning, police want to know why a highly educated chemist for one of the world's top pharmaceutical companies would allegedly swap out juice for sale at this Starbucks with sabotaged versions laced with poison. Jacqueline, a Starbucks employee who didn't want her full name used, tells ABC News she ran after the woman after a customer spotted her taking the bottles out of a bag, one orange juice, one mango fiber, and placing them in the display area. I brought the bottles back to my manager. It smelled like nail polish remover and some type of alcohol. I just knew it wasn't the orange juice. Police say the bottles contain juice mixed with rubbing alcohol, enough to kill anyone who took a drink. The hazmat team was able to go ahead and look at the, the contents of the isopropyl alcohol and the, and the amounts that were in that bottle were lethal doses. The suspect, 50-year-old Ramine Babanian, is no novice mixing chemicals. She is a chemist for a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson. Her LinkedIn profile notes her expertise in drug delivery and controlled release technologies. Police say they don't have a motive, but the woman did mention something about her dealings with Starbucks staff. We were unable to reach her for comment. If you look at someone who is high functioning in society that would do something like this, it lets you know how much of their reality has been distorted. Starbucks says no other bottles were tampered with. Vanian, the chemist with what seemed a promising career, now faces attempted murder charges when she is arraigned later today. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.